Bus drivers for the Rockford Public Schools are geared up and ready to go for the new semester. 23 News reporter Connor Hollingsworth talks with the district's transportation department about bus safety and what could happen if you don't obey the law. Yes, Mike, before the semester even starts, drivers in school districts around the country practice by literally driving the buses around the community and putting safety practices in place to ensure students are safe on their way to and from school. 10 feet on each side of the bus is called the danger zone. Don't be in there because if the bus driver misses you or if you fall under the bus, then that could be tragic. As transportation safety officer for Rockford Public Schools, Rod George lives for safety. He hopes, as he does every year, that students, bus drivers and others on the road will obey the law. Come to a complete stop. Take time before you take off. While the rules may seem simple, people break them every year, especially around school buses. Part of my job is when people run stop arms, um, I have to report that to the police. And we have a lot of people that run stop arms. Back in May, a pickup truck allegedly blew past a stop arm, hitting 11-year-old Brendan Borgord. He suffered a lacerated spleen, broken femur, and a ruptured diaphragm. This week, we got an update on his progress. He has recently just got approved to be off the walker, so he's been doing great with his therapy, and they've let him play around, you know basically be a kid and, you know, swimming, just not all the hard sports. Brendan was lucky, but the next person might not be. Brendan's mom, Ashley, says our safe driving switch must be turned on at all times. Why risk driving and speeding and hitting a kid? Like, what if that's your child? Now, as you heard in that story, Brendan regularly goes to therapy and his mom says he is dealing with it very well. But she added that it will be at least a year before he can play contact sports again, so he'll miss out on one of his favorites, football. Thank you, Connor. And District 205 needs more bus drivers for the upcoming school year. You can apply at rps205.com.